here, but I hope you guys are out there in the safe. So I have here the Solar P1 Pro. So as you can see, this is an electric scooter. And as you can probably also see, this is a bigger electric scooter than the ones I usually test or the ones that are seen on the streets. There are a pair of 2000 watt motors inside this thing that can power the Solar P1 Pro to go up to 55 miles per hour. That's crazy. That's like 88 kilometers per hour. Now I'm probably not gonna go that fast because I'm a little bit scared but I will go up to like 30 miles an hour. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take the scooter out from where my mom lives in downtown Los Angeles over to Pasadena. On Google Maps, it is an 11 mile ride with some steep inclines, but this scooter will be able to handle it because I've already ridden this around Los Angeles for the past few days. And yeah, this thing is awesome. Other than the fact that it is a little bit heavy, the total weight is 70 pounds. So that means even though you can fold up the scooter, it is not as portable as many of the other scooters I've tested. Like, I don't think I can lug this up a subway station, for example. But this is not designed for that. It's more designed to almost replace a car for some people because of its power and high speed. Anyway, let's get going. So we'll be able to test the power of Solar P1 Pro really fast because just getting out of this garage required a very steep incline that none of my other scooters were able to handle, but this one will be able to handle it easily. Check it out. Okay, it goes up at full speed without missing a beat. Okay, let's take a look at hardware really quick. As I said, there are a pair of 2000 watt motors in here that allow the scooters to get up to 55 miles per hour. If you ride at a more reasonable speed, you can get around 50 miles in range. So that's been more than good enough for me to ride all over Los Angeles because you know, even the trip to and from is not going to be more than 50 miles. So to charge the battery, you have two slots right here. The reason there's two is because this battery is so large that it takes about nine hours to fully charge the scooter so if you want to speed it up you can buy a second charger plug in two different chargers then you'll be able to cut the charging time in half at that point you can charge the scooter from zero to full in about four and a half hours you have 11 inch tires here fat tires this plus really good suspension system here allows the scooter to go over uneven pavements and potholes without any issues. These can definitely handle the dirty ass broken roads of Los Angeles a lot better than a smaller scooter. As you can see, this deck is a little bit wider than usual. You can in fact stand on it with both feet side by side. Here's the lever and the safety switch that you need to pull to fold the scooter down. Now, unfortunately, because this scooter is so heavy duty, it is also a little bit heavy. It weighs 70 pounds. So that means even though you can fold the scooter into a relatively compact size, it's not that easy to lug around. Like for example, if I live in these apartments here, it would be tough to lug the scooters up even those stairs, 70 pounds. Okay, now let's look at the handlebar. So you see there's quite a lot of controls here. So this is the slot to turn on the scooter. And then you also have to long press on this button to power everything on. So now you have the speedometer right here showing you your speed, how much um, the miles that you've written, how long you've written, all the basic information as well as the battery life. Down here will show you the voltage, meaning how much power you're drawing from the batteries. And over here you have multiple switches. Right here is a light that you can turn on and off. Here's a left and right signal. Here's an electric horn. And right here are two buttons. So this orange button is for echo mode. When you have this button pressed down, it will arbitrarily keep speed a little bit lower. So that means you can pull on the throttle all the way down and you're still only gonna get a maximum of 15 miles per hour, which is slow for the scooter, but it's actually very good speed to get around like residential neighborhoods like right here. So if I'm riding here, I would actually just press this down. But if you wanna go faster, then you obviously, you turn this off, turn echo mode off, and then you have a button here to switch between either single or dual motor. Now, whether it's single or dual motor, you can still reach about the same maximum speed. The only difference is that when you use dual motor, you get a little bit more kick. You get a faster acceleration to start. So again, if you are an adventurous person, if you are racing somebody, if you're going uphill, definitely turn on dual motor. But for me, riding in neighborhoods like these, single motor is more than good enough. So the scooter has dual brakes. You have a hydraulic brake and an electric brake. So they combine to really slow you down fast. Thank you. 
Okay, so I've made it to Pasadena. I've rolled about a total of 11 miles with a stop detour over at Highland Park. And right now, I'm looking at the speedometer. The battery is still showing full. Like I said, the scooter has 55 mile range. But I guess because I've been going relatively, you know, low speed. You know, I've just been going like 20 miles per hour. So that really didn't even make a dent in the battery. I can keep going like this for maybe, if I just do this trip every day, I can probably do this trip for like four days before I need to charge. So the Solar P1 Pro retails for 1,800 US dollars. I know some of you guys are gonna scoff at this price and think it's expensive, but I think it really depends on your needs. Like I said, this thing can really be a car replacement for some people. Obviously, if you live really far from your work and you need to go on the highway every day to get there, then no, this cannot do it. But for a lot of other people, including myself, people who live closer to downtown or people who just live in the city, this thing is awesome to get around from your house to work, to dinner, to the market, stuff like that, all your daily errands without needing to get into a car. Some of you guys probably already know this, but I'm trying to live a car-free lifestyle because I think only a car is costly, gas is expensive, you have to buy insurance, all that, it's environmental unfriendly. And also, I just think it's, it's kind of like not practical to live in a society where every single person own their own car and get around purely by that car. I'm more of a fan of, you know, like Hong Kong's lifestyle where you get around on buses and trains or if I cannot get on buses and trains, at least let me ride around in electric bikes and electric scooters. I just don't want to be tied down to a car. Now I do have a few complaints about the Solar P1 Pro. The first one is that this handlebar actually wobbles slightly when you're riding. Now it's very, very minor. In fact, if I try to recreate this right now, I cannot get it to wobble. But when you're riding it, you do feel the stick move a little bit and it's a little bit scary considering this thing can go like up to 55 miles per hour. Even at 30 miles per hour, I was a little bit nervous. But I think that's just me being paranoid. I'm pretty sure this latch system here is hardcore enough that this thing is not gonna, you know, collapse on me. I think that's the nature of foldable scooters. They're always gonna have a little bit of wobble. The second complaint is that the scooter is a little bit heavier, 70 pounds. But, but, I am, but I am aware that's a personal complaint. I think for a lot of people who are adventurers, who live out you know, in the countryside and they can actually reach top speed without worry of getting hit by a car or pedestrians, this thing is awesome. And again, if you live a lifestyle where you're in the city often and everywhere you need to go, it's like within 10, 15 miles, this thing can replace a car or needing to book an Uber and it'll save you money in the long run. So that's about it for this review of the Solar P1 Pro. I have a lot more stuff coming up because as most of you guys know, starting February, it's gonna be crazy phone season. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, Oppo Find N2 Flip, Xiaomi 13 Pro, Vivo X9 Pro Plus, all these are confirmed to launch in February globally, and I'm gonna get my hands on all of them. So if you're interested in keeping up to date with all the latest gadgets, please consider subscribing to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.